Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Let me discuss about the process improved MPPT controller for photovoltaic system under partial shading condition. The photovoltaic cell is in use may feel replaced by fossil fuel because the photovoltaic is eco friendly and availability. In recent years, there are so many researchers to research that field for reduce the problem and increase efficiency. One of the major and basic problems in shadowing in the PV array, the shadowing effect affects the PV overall efficiency. The PV array is collecting the photovoltaic cell sometimes. The PV array some cells are defected from corrosion, environment changes and are some other causes which reduce its output. That one cell output is reduced, it affects the overall output of the image. The partial shadow effect affects the PV cell's efficiency so that is rectified for increase the PV array's efficiency. One of the methods of rectify the shadowing in PV cells is MPPT maximum power point tracking. In this method, the shadowing affected cell is find the entire PV array use this MPP maximum power point information. The PV cells maintained the voltage as non-affected cells. In previous method, the MPPT is done by PNO algorithm. The PNO algorithm is very good searching algorithm but its accuracy is low so the alternative algorithm needs to improve the accuracy of the searching. In our proposed use the fuzzy logic control is used to the searching the MPP in PV array. FLC is one of the best searching algorithms. It's searching the MPP based on reference voltage. If the PV cell produces low voltage compared to the reference voltage that the cells are by positive used the diode that by pass the circuit get the voltage from non shattered area that voltage will help to regulate the output voltage this is the flow of our process in this flow we have to made by silicon it is a device to harvesting the solar energy and convert to, to current this process is made by the photovoltaic cell the amount of photovoltaic cell is interconnected to produce the large amount of current sometimes causes of corrosion layer formation etc the pv cell array comes to partial shading condition that particle shading reduces the output voltage of pv cell array and then the part of the initial parameters is to be the main aim to propose the system maintain the output voltage during the partial shading condition in that purpose we use the mppt technique with flc algorithm in the flc algorithm first we set the initial condition for scanning the partial shading in the pv cell array that initial condition are reference voltage for example 80 percentage to 85 of the output voltage if the number of pv cells in the array is very important part to uh, obtain the process the fuzzy logic the fuzzy logic is controlled for to find the mpp maximum power point based on the initial condition the measure the cells each cell's voltage current and power and compare to the value in the reference voltage track the mpp and store the mpp information the mpp will help to find the gmpp of the partial shading pv cell arrays this is the full process of flow of our process the final process is obtained successfully done this is the model of main window in that main window we have to choose the many parts to initially we have to run the core coding in matlab software this is the current folder when we will do the load any f main files to our software that it will be showed in that part of the current folder the process should be executed on the visually visually
part of the common window called as common window and then workspace is called nothing but all values and variables should be showed in that workspace and then the common history uh, what what and when part of our coding is run at uh, the history is to be stored is very easy way to recollect the process of uh, executing on the common window now we have to start the running of our process I initially click the main.yam file right click the main.yam click run after clicking run it will show the number of groups number of sub samples assembly models in sub assembly number of such assembles the two number of figures should be showed the two number of show is nothing but the figure one is this program is still running it takes some time to finishing the process the number of such assemblies in the group the final value is to the first of initial process of our main.yam file program is still running it takes some time to fully running all process should be run our process we have to show the uh, figures the one by one first we have to show the figure one the figure one is nothing but IV characteristics for sub assemblies of group one is between uh, voltage and current of our process and then second window is uh, the PV characteristics for sub assemblies of group one this is between the voltage and power of our samples the input of our process the figure 3 is shown the I2V characteristics of series assemblies is uh, shown between the voltage and current is have some limit in the x axis and y axis of our process in figure 4 the P2V characteristics of series assemblies is between the voltage and power and that fifth window is that the I2V characteristics of groups is between the voltage and current and then the PV characteristics of group is shown in this figure 6 voltage and power between and then figure 8 is nothing but the, the straight line to visually showed in the I2V characteristics of an array the or between the voltage and current the figure 8 is shown the uh, PV characteristics of an array is between some limits on the x-axis and the y-axis the between voltage and power of our process the figure 9 is nothing but sawtooth wave of our process this, this is uh, shown uh, very efficiently by using the processing of the algorithm the time to amplitude the figure 10 is nothing but tracking of curve for PVRA is an uh, efficient process to obtain the tracking curve for PVRA thank you